Hello everyone. Today we are going to make influence line diagrams in a simply supported beam for reactions, shear force and bending moment. In the simply supported beam, let us assume a unit load is acting at a distance of A. First, let us make the diagrams for the reactions. First, let us calculate RA. For that, we are going to take moment about to B. In this case, we are moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive, anti-clockwise will be negative. The vertical reaction Ra is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is L. So Ra into L. The unit load is acting towards the point B in the anti-clockwise direction. So it will be negative. For the distance, we have to take this distance. This distance is L minus A. So, minus 1 into L minus A. We can take minus 1 into L minus A on the right side. It will become positive. Finally, we are getting Ra is equal to L minus A by L. When A is equal to 0, Ra will be 1. When A is equal to L, Ra will be 0. Using that, we can make the influence diagram. When A is equal to 0, it is 1. When A is equal to L, it will be 0. Now let us calculate RB. We can calculate RB using the total load. In this beam, we are having only one load that is the unit load 1. So the total load 1 minus RA, we will get RB which is equal to A by L. When A is equal to 0, RB will be 0. When A is equal to L, RB will be 1. Here A is equal to 0, RB is equal to 0. Here A is equal to L, so RB is equal to 1. Now let us make the influence line diagram for shear force. For that, let us make one section in the point C at the distance of X. When A is lesser than X, we have to calculate the shear force on the right side. On the right side, we are having only one load that is RB which is equal to A by L. This load will be negative because it is moving upwards. When we move left hand side, upward forces will be negative. So minus RB which is equal to minus A by L. When A is equal to 0, the shear force will be 0. When A is equal to X, the shear force will be minus X by L. Using these two values, we can make the first triangle. When A is equal to 0, the shear force is 0. When A is equal to X, the shear force is X by L. So we have made two points, then we can connect them. And we have made the influence line diagram for negative shear force. Now let us make for positive shear force. When A is greater than X, we have to calculate the shear force on the left side. On the left side, we are having only one load, that is RA which is equal to L minus A by L. In this case, we are moving on the right hand side. So upward forces will be positive. So RA will be positive. When A is equal to X, the shear force will be L minus X by L. When A is equal to L, the shear force will be zero. Using that, we can make the two points and make the second triangle. So we have made the influence line diagram for positive shear force and the negative shear force. Now let us do for the bending moment. When A is less than X, we have to calculate the shear force on the right side. On the right side we are having only one load that is RB which is equal to A by L. And the distance is L minus X. So we are getting A by L into L minus X. When A is equal to 0, the moment at C is equal to 0. When A is equal to X, moment at C is X into L minus X by L. Using that, we can make the first two points. When A is greater than X, we have to calculate the bending moment on the left side. On the left side, we are having a load that is RA, L minus A by L. And the distance will be X. In this case, we are getting L minus A by L into X. When A is equal to X, MC will be X into L minus X by L. When A is equal to L, MC will be 0. 
using these values we can make two points and make the triangle this value will be same when we calculate on the left side and on the right side now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video